Hey guys, Matt with Murph Mobile Homes again. Today we're going to look at a Cabco KB series called the Mayfield. Three bed, two bath, about 2,000 square foot. It's got what most people consider that farmhouse look. It's got a beautiful front porch, of course. You can see that right off the bat. Nice wood decking. Good columns match your accents. Now this lot model is sold, but we can always order these, and these are full custom, so you do get plenty of options to change up. You can even make this porch larger if you like. Let's go take a look inside. This house has been a pretty popular one since we got it in about March this year. It's got eight foot ceilings. With KB series with cab code, it comes standard with two by six exterior walls, three quarter inch plywood floors, two by eight floor joists, two by four interior walls, all 16 on centers. It's got a hand laid rock fireplace that is wood burning. So get ready to chop some wood, or buy some wood. But if you ever lose power, you do have a heat source. Miss Patty decorated this house. She did a really good job. Three thousand, or sorry, two thousand square foot as a three bedroom gives you pretty good space in your in your bedrooms and kitchen, living room areas as well. This one has a rough cut trim package. Let's see if I can get a better look here. It's got beautiful beams in your dining room and your kitchen. It's real wood. Nice chateau doors off the back. Really good for having a nice deck and grilling out. Have a hot tub, pool. So hardwood cabinets, farm sinks. Got your kind of butcher style countertops. Tons of space in this house. They're all drawer over door. So there's a little trash in there. So you get drawer, plenty of drawer space. Big flat island bookends on this side. And I believe the other side too, we'll see. You got outlets uh, plumbed in already. <coughs> and then storage space, of course. More drawers. Another outlet down here. Yep, another bookcase on this end for cookbooks and all that. Tons of storage. Doesn't have a formal pantry, but I don't know what kind of food y'all eat, but that should be enough storage space for groceries. You can do a stainless appliance package in this if you like. You upgrade to, well, obviously, stainless appliances. You can even, uh, <coughs> excuse me. You can even next to the fridge build in a microwave or something like that too if you like since it is so much storage. Nice picture window, rough cut trim around it. C ceramic backsplash here. It's barn field tiles what they call that. Capco is known to have plenty of outlets in your kitchen. There, You should never not have enough appliance outlets. I mean they just they go for days Let me go wait to the utility room. This one doesn't have any carpet, which is an upgrade. It's hand laid tile. They don't use any linoleum. So where your houses come together, like this doorway here, two halves come together. There's no trip bar, transition bar, whatever you want to call it. So it is really nice to have that. Overhead cabinets above your wash and dryer area. We got some storage stuff here. Let me know in the comments if y'all are into the farmhouse style. I know that, you know, trends kind of come in and out and farmhouses seem to kind of stuck around for a while. The Fixer Upper show out of Waco, that really, I think, launched that trend and it's been stuck pretty sen pretty well since. So we'll step into a guest bedroom one. It's right off the living room here. Two windows, 16 inch windows in this, low E thermal pane windows. This house is fully tape and textured, of course. Ceiling vents. Apologize for the echo. Um, there's no carpet, nothing to bounce. 
uh, sound off of. Double doors on your closet, so you got plenty of closet space. Make your way to the other one. This one, you got a little bit more of a hallway here. And then we'll take a look at the gas bath too. This room, I think, I believe both these rooms are the same size, so you don't have to worry about kids fighting over who gets what room. They're both between or on either side of a bathroom. So this one has more of a walk-in closet, whereas the other one had the double closet doors. Tons of space. Kids never feel left out. And that's, you know, good parts of having 2,000 square foot on three-bedroom house is plenty of space. So with the KVs, you get these, what they call the Vanderbilt tubs in the guest. It's a one-piece fiberglass, so you don't have any seams around it. It's an oversized tub, so it's a big garden tub in the guest room, and you got the combo. With custom houses, though, you do have options to change that up. If you want to do a stand-up shower only, take out the tub. You can do, you know, we can remove some shelving of these cabinets here and make a shower bigger. <clears throat> Porcelain sinks, metal faucets, wood cabinets, of course. That's all pretty standard in your KVs. And KVs a series line by Capco, and they're out of Boaz, Alabama. We'll make our way over here to the master bedroom side. We are COVID conscious here at Brewer Quality Homes slash Murphy Mobile Homes. So all of our lot models do have little sanitary stations. It's always nice. People seem to like that. If you buy a lot model, you do get to keep it. <laughs> uh, so master bedroom stretches over the marriage line. Now that seam is there on the ceiling temporarily until the house gets set up. They'll float it out to where you won't have, you know, that big seam going across. But your floor is set to where there's no, no seam. It's just a flush floor. Two windows going off into your porch here. And these have the cordless blind. I don't know if you've seen these or, or not. They just pull straight down and you just lift them back up to raise them. So really good for if you have any children in the house, you don't have to worry about getting tangled up in that. But overall, this, this master bedroom is a really good size. Easy, easy fit a king. Plenty of room for dressers, all that stuff. So this bathroom is probably my, right now I would say it's my favorite bathroom that we have. I just like the way it's laid out, the colors that they did. Get the big garden tub. Of course, you got the big towel shower. Gotta have, you're gonna, you're gonna get this house, you're gonna have to get the shower. It comes with it, so that's good. This one has a rain shower head. They even have the shower tower. You may have seen in some of my TikTok videos a couple of houses that have those. Those are nice because they'll get you from top to bottom. Nice frosted glass off the side over your garden tub. And you got decking around your tub so you can put your, put your wine or read material around it. And you got double fantasy or his and hers, or hers and hers and his and his, whatever. Cabinet stack next to there for storage. So I guess in, if there's a his, this would be the his size because a little bit smaller. You got, obviously you got tons of space, but look at this space over here. You got a sink and then, I mean, you got a full on makeup station to get dressed at. Of course, I mean, you got the sink and drawers as well. Closets, really good size. Wood racks, top to bottom shelving. And it just kind of goes around the corner here. And this one has what they call, what I call a water closet. I don't know if y'all call this something different. Toilet with a door on it. I have one of these in my house. This one's much bigger than my house, so. Mine's not quite as nice. Nice on the left to have. So this is the Mayfield. This, uh, I'm recording this middle of October, 2020. So I can kind of give you a roundabout price of what it is currently. Now in this climate, 
prices are they're climbing material shortages uh factories you know they they employ 250 people working these factories so you get a little outbreak covid and there may be you know build time may take a little bit but right now if you're ordering one tomorrow i think they're coming off around january uh this house here currently it's 125 plus delivery, 125,000 plus delivery. So it's it'd be $12 a mile from Bossier City. So if you're a thousand miles away, take that price. You add 12,000 miles, uh, $12,000 to it, and that'll include delivery, AC, trim out, a couple sets of steps with it. It's not include any foundation. I just did a video on my TikTok, Murphy Mobile Homes, about foundation. You want to check that out, kind of how that works. I do plan on doing more like that. Stuff like that can kind of cover in 60 second increments, but if, you know, full walkthroughs of houses, you need to come over here to YouTube. You also check out my website, www.murphymobilehomes.com. If you're interested in doing credit application, I've got a free online application you can check out there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, plenty of other inventory houses to look at on my website but uh this is the mayfield i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time